126 artificial intelligence cameras like these are set up across the state of Kerala. From now on, they will be looking at traffic violations. As a first stage, seven violations are looked into. And these are riding two wheelers without helmets, no seat belts, speeding, speaking on the mobile phone while driving, parking violations and jumping a red signal. So through artificial intelligence, if you violate any of these seven rules, these cameras will pick up and it will be uploaded into the software. And from there, each allowance will be sent. At this stage, what we understand is that uh, picking up a violation is completely through artificial intelligence. But once it is uploaded in the software, it is sorted and uh, then each allowance are being sent out. For the next one month, there will only be a, uh, awareness of this that will be done. And they will collect the fines only after one month. Now, uh, earlier what used to happen is that if you didn't, uh, if you uh, went out uh, without uh, uh, wearing a helmet while riding a two-wheeler, you get a fine from the police official or from the official on the ground. And if you are uh, picked up at another spot by the official, by another official, you actually show this uh, 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 that you have already been fined uh, once. But with these new camera systems in place, if you are caught in a camera a couple of times, you will have to pay these multiple fines. And for uh, riding a two-wheeler without helmet, it is 500 rupees, similar uh, 500 rupees for seat belts. But uh, speaking on the mobile phone, it's uh, 2,000 rupees. And for speeding, it is 1,500 rupees. So these uh, are the fines that will be collected uh, from next month is what we are understanding. And these 726 are actually accident uh, black spots across the state of Kerala. We have along with us ADGP S. Srijit, who is the Transport Commissioner of the state. Sir, the new system is in place from today. Can you tell us what are the changes this will bring in enforcement and what are the major features of this system? The main feature is that it's totally automated. There's no human interference whatsoever. No officers uh, uh, required to issue any chalan or uh, uh, go chasing the offenders and all that. It's all done uh, electronically. That's the main feature. And it's artificial, artificial intelligence which actually uh, steers the whole thing. So we have got around 726 AI cameras all over the state and looking into mainly six to seven offenses. So these are very basic offenses which actually constitute 54% re actually constitute the reason for the 54% deaths on the roads in Kerala. So, I mean, though it is considered as a minor offence by most of the people, the consequences are not really minor. It actually results in deaths. We have had around uh, 4,111 deaths over the last year, which is actually a 5% reduction compared to the preceding years. But that is uh, still uh, left a lot of things to be desired for. And that is we are actually aiming for a figure of around 20% reduction this year. And uh, we plan to achieve that with this kind of initiatives. Now, the most important being that is uh, seat belt violations are noticed, uh, helmets, non wearing of helmets by the two wheeler riders, um, uh, more than two people riding on the two wheelers, and then uh, of course, uh, uh, over speeding is also noticed, red, uh, red light violations, speaking on the mobile while driving. These are the basic offenses which have been incorporated in the system right now. And uh, the system is capable enough to generate its own each allowance. And if the person fails to respond, push it even to the courts. So this is the way it's functioning. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to say that it's the first of its kind in India, where the whole state is covered by AA cameras. So you said it's 726. This will be the absolute number, or this is only a first stage? Are you planning to introduce more cameras? And is it covered uh, across the state, both uh, rural, urban areas? We have actually covered most of the black spots in Kerala, where most of the accidents have happened, and deaths due to accidents have happened. That is either in the national highways and the state highways, or even in the local roads. Uh, the, the, the discerning factor has been the number of deaths reported. So based on that, we have actually placed these cameras right now. And the police is also coming up uh, with a number of camera systems on their own. We have to have a kind of synergy with them also. It is called the Intelligence Traffic Enforcement System, which actually is in the pipeline right now. 
So once that too comes into place, we would work in, comp in a complementary way. Like I mean, it's not a duplication of locations. Like so, uh, with all these cameras coming in, I think we will be able to cover uh, the whole of Kerala digitally, and uh, that would uh, increase the efficiency of our officers for uh, the work connected with uh, revenue collections rather than enforcement, and it would uh, drastically bring down the deaths and the accident rates of the roads. One thing what is ex uh, at the existing system or what is happening right now is that you don't wear a helmet one day, you uh, walk around in the city or you ride around in the city, only once you have to pay a fine. But in this new system, it's not like this. In how many ever cameras you are, you are caught, you will have to cough up that fine. Ma'am, I don't understand uh, the context in which you're talking because it's not legal. What you've just told me is not legal at all. There's absolutely no uh, fine which can be imposed only for once in a day. I mean, there's nothing of that. That concept is not legal at all. So how many times ever you make a mistake or you deliberately do something, if it's an offense, it is construed as an offense and you have to pay the fines. So the number of times is immaterial. Every time has to be considered as a new offense, number one. And number two, if somebody does these offenses uh, multiple number of times, it just means that he's a habitual offender and not somebody, I mean, who can actually wave a piece of paper at somebody saying that, you know, I've got a chalan today, I'll be fined only tomorrow. There's no such law which says that. So, well, to cut the long story short, we would be penalizing, rather not we, the system would be penalizing anybody who habitually keeps on repeating the same offense over and over again. Even if it's uh, during a, a, a small period of a day, or if it spans over a few months, it doesn't make any difference. And we would be construing him as a habitual offender, and we would have to take measures to even blacklist him, and or even impound his license or his uh, registration certificate, which is in the pipeline. So, I mean, uh, the concept of, you know, being penalized only once in a day is something obsolete, and I don't know where it has come from. There is no statutory uh, backing to this idea at all. One other concern that has been raised is the privacy concerns, like your cameras would uh, zoom, uh, you can zoom in and see the passengers or whatever that's happening. So how would you respond to that? No camera captures any image unless there's a violation, number one. These cameras are uh, dysfunct as, uh, with respect to anybody who abides by the law. The artificial intelligence aspect uh, comes into it specifically when there's a violation and only when there's a violation. Only when there's a violation is an image captured, and that image is captured with respect to only that particular office. We're not looking at the people, we're not looking at what is happening, and this is kept on record's sake if at all there is a contest by the actual offender. So the safest thing for anybody to do is to abide by the law, and these cameras are non-existent for them. So this is my take on that, and absolutely, the privacy concern doesn't come in for people who are actually driving a vehicle from one place to the other because you know it's all been uh, made very transparent by the Supreme Court orders now. You can't have a, you know, any kind of you know, films or anything on that uh, windows uh, as per the Supreme Court orders. No, so well, if it's something which can be seen by anyone outside, standing outside on the roads, what is the, uh, what is the uh, privacy violation which is happening? If there's a violation, which is a traffic violation, which is happening and an image is captured. So absolutely, it doesn't make any sense. And I'm again reiterating that if somebody wants to not uh, let their image be captured, the only thing that you need to do is to abide by the law. That's the simplest and easiest and safest thing to do. And I actually implore everybody in Kerala to ensure that they don't pay a single rupee as fine by not violating the law. You understand? So that is actually what we want. It is actually a welfare measure which has been put forth by the government rather than as it's being made out that it's something to amass money for the government. It's nothing of that sort. We don't want anybody to pay. We don't want anybody to violate.